guys, how about Indiana? I didn't really have a pick on Nebraska-Indiana, but I thought it was going to be a good game. I thought Nebraska was going to be putting up some points against Indiana. Indiana just came out and absolutely rolled Nebraska today on Big Noon. Obviously, Fox thought that would be a pretty good game. That's why they had it as Big Noon. They passed on Michigan-Illinois ranked on ranked team. They wanted this game. This was absolutely nuts. They poured it on late with a backup QB getting a couple touchdowns. This game was over, not at halftime. I won't say at halftime. Nebraska came out, tried to start to make it interesting a little bit, but then Indiana just completely shut the door and ran away with this one, 56-7. to This leads to a very fun conversation in the Big Ten. You got Indiana, 7-0 and overall. Undefeated Big Ten play, obviously. Oregon, Penn State. You got those three teams. Then you have Ohio State, who lost to Oregon, but obviously they're still in the driver's seat of their own destiny. Then you have Illinois, 6-1. and one. The only loss is at Penn State, 21-7. to seven. Illinois plays Oregon next weekend. That's going to be a fun game, but let's just, for the sake of argument, let's keep them in this thing. Ohio State, one loss. Illinois, one loss. Undefeated Oregon, undefeated Penn State, undefeated Indiana. Ohio State plays Penn State. Somebody's going to get a loss. Let's say Ohio State wins that one. Indiana's rest of season. Washington, Michigan State, Michigan, Ohio State, Purdue. What if Indiana is 11-1? 11-1 Ohio State. 11-1 Penn State. 11-1 Indiana. 12-0 Oregon. Or to make this even more fun, 11-1 Oregon and then 11-1 Illinois. There are some truly insane and very fun scenarios going on in the Big Ten right now, not only for the Big Ten championship, but also for the college football playoff. Obviously, I don't think we're going to end up with five 11-1 teams. Illinois will probably be the odd man out there, but it's absolutely on the table to end up with a 12-0 Oregon and then three 11-1 teams, just looking at the schedule. It's not like Penn State plays Oregon later on in the year. They have Ohio State. They have Ohio State at home, and then they play a Washington, Purdue, Minnesota, Maryland. You really do expect them to win all of those games, and then they really do have a shot against Ohio State. What will the college football playoff committee do with three 11-win teams, one 12-0 team heading into championship weekend? What do you do with 11-1 Indiana at the end of the year? How do they stack up with 10-2 and two Alabama? Alabama would have the better win, but they have one more loss. To Vanderbilt, by the way. Indiana has the better loss. What do you do with an 11-1 and one Indiana against the runner-up in the Big 12? Let's say a 12-1 and one BYU, or let's say an 11-2 and two K-State. What are you doing against, with Indiana against 11-2 and two Clemson? Or what about an 11-2 and two or 10-2 and two or maybe even an 11-1 and one SMU? How about a 10-2 and two Texas A&M? Like, what are you doing with Indiana in this scenario? They haven't really beaten anybody, but they played their schedule, and they played them well, and maybe they only lose by 7-10 to 10 points against Ohio State, and that's a real game. The Big Ten coming up here at the end of the season. This is going to be a lot of fun to discuss. Indiana kept their nose clean. They are very well could be 9-0 and going up against Michigan, and Michigan does not look good at all right now. They don't have a quarterback. I don't want to hear any excuses. This has been horrible for the Michigan Wolverine. Indiana is one of these very, very fun chess pieces that makes the 12-team playoff a great idea. If you watch me, you know I'm not a huge fan of the 12-team playoff. But this is the type of scenario that makes the 12-team playoff just exceedingly fun for all of us diehard college football fans. In Wisconsin, yes, I know you're not mathematically out of it or anything. You're 3-1 and one in Big Ten play. I get it. I just don't think you're going to be there for very long. That's why we didn't include you in that conversation. <laughs>